my name is Heather Rada, and my relationships with bulbs has been awful. Um, well, as soon as I was incarcerated, I was my my locks were changed, um, and they would not let me back in on FSU. And then the, over the past eight months now, um, they proceeded to throw all of my stuff away. I never got an eviction notice. I never went to court for an eviction. Um, they just got rid of everything that I own and my kids own. I reached out to Rick Bove, never got a response back. I called him, emailed him mm -hmm. several times, um, and nothing. Now I'm suing them, in, not in small claims, it's just a civil lawsuit mm -hmm. um, for $50,000 to cover everything that me and my family have lost. and all of the stuff that we've gone through just because of this. Since I was not able to go back to my apartment, um, my kids live with my mother-in-law right now, mm -hmm. and I have gone to, now I'm in my second treatment facility, trying to get my children back so that we can move on with our lives, but this has been the ongoing process for the past almost a year now. Um, trying to get everybody back together and things back together, and. It's, it's just been crazy. How do you put a, um, a price on any of this stuff? Right. You know, like, yeah, maybe I got my wedding dress, but I didn't get my baby books. You know, like baby bracelets, mm -hmm. footprints, pictures that I don't have. Um, how do you put a price on that? You're never gonna go through that same exact birth again or have that same exact person. How do you price that? I reached out to Legal Aid. Legal Aid cannot uh, represent you in a case like this. Mm. They can give you an idea of what you need to do, but they cannot represent you. Um, I can't, I'm not at a place right now where I can afford a lawyer. Mm. Um, CBOEO has tenants' rights, and I've talked to them, but again, that's not somebody that can represent you. Other than that, I have to rely on Lund and myself to continue with a lawsuit. And if it wasn't for Lund, I probably wouldn't you know, be able to get set up the way that I need to to represent myself in court like that. It needs to be looked at by a big picture, and mm -hmm. in a big picture because I'm just one of many that this has been done to that are saying something about it. How many aren't? But I don't even think both should have rental apartments, mm -hmm. buildings. Why are they renting to people if they're robbing them? Is that how they're making money? I don't think it's just their pasta sauce. <laughs> They're making their money um, by tearing families apart and losing everything you've ever owned. They hate to see other people have to go through this and it's not fair.